So the wonderful thing about our brain is that we have built-in mechanisms to help us relax. So when your sympathetic system is revving, eventually it's going to get to a point where it says that's enough and the parasympathetic system can jump in and that's your body's relaxation response. So simple techniques like diaphragmatic breathing and different muscle relaxation strategies, when you start to feel that muscle group tense and tighten, your heartbeat uh, escalating and your breathing getting short and shallow, can begin to calm down those mechanisms in your body. So we have different relaxation strategies that can help to break that cycle and they can be implemented right away. So while your body will um, eventually allow that parasympathetic system to kick in, when you have tools and strategies that are um, easy to reach for, such as diaphragmatic breathing or muscle relaxation, you can begin to break that cycle a lot quicker and gives you some control. And if you find that you, know, you need more um, assistance in learning how to break that cycle, a psychologist or a mental health provider can certainly be helpful to work from a cognitive behavioral perspective on that cognition piece. So as you're beginning to have um, that rev of negative thoughts and emotions that can begin when you're feeling uh, poorly, there are ways that you can learn more adaptive ways of thinking about feeling poorly. So for example, um, as you begin to feel like, oh gosh, here we go again, this is going to be bad, that can lead to some catastrophic thoughts and negatively predicting the future and anticipatory anxiety. And um, working with a therapist can really help you to find new ways to observe your negative thoughts and then change them to more adaptive ways of coping with those cognitions.